Welcome guys, this is Joe here and today we have a brand new server tutorial for you guys and it's how to set up your spigot slash bucket server for 1.9, this could be 1.10, it will follow the same steps hopefully. So yes, let's get started. Before we start, I need to put out a disclaimer. This is not guaranteed to work on everyone's computer. In my case, it's already failed a three times until I got it to work, so just please keep that in mind. You might have to uh, fiddle around with it to get it to work. So I just want to get that out there. So it's not always guaranteed to work straight away, but it normally does. So anyway, let's get started. So first of all, there is four links down below in the description. And while you're down there, make sure you hit the like button because it does take a lot of time to set up one of these videos, these tutorials. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, you want to click on the get link. And once you're here, come on over and download it. Just let it run. Once it starts downloading and it's downloaded, you want to double click it and run the program and install it like you install any other program and just go default settings. So just next, 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 next finished, or there's a few more next maybe. You don't have to mess around with it. It's just the extraction tool to get the jar files out of the build tool. Right then, next step. You want to come back over to Spigot and you want to click download. Right, once that has loaded up, you want to look for the build history that's over on this side here now i'm currently on build 49 they could be build 50 by the time you see this video it could be build 60 you never know so just get the latest one once you click on there you want to click on the build tool dot jar and it will download so once you've got it in there you want to come over to your desktop and make two folders you want to make a spigot build tools and a spigot server because the build tools makes a lot of files right then once you've got that in there you want to come back and now go to the third link the third link is this post here, or you can go to the fourth link, it's up to you, but this is the latest post when uh, uh, MD underscore 5 released it, and this is the run command, so you just want to copy that and press Control C, so this is what's actually going to get you the jar file. So once you've done that, you want to come back over to your folder, now click, uh, you want to left, uh, sorry, right click, and then you want to look for get bash here. This could just say get bash, but if it isn't there, you haven't installed it properly or you haven't installed it at all. Once you click on there, it will open a console. Now you need to paste that uh, code in and then enter. So now this could take a few minutes, depending on your internet speed and how fast the server is running on their side, it all depends. So it normally takes a few minutes for me, sometimes it can take five. And sometimes this can fail, like as I was saying at the start of the video. So yeah, I'm going to come back and hopefully uh, when I come back, it has worked. Right then, so what, hopefully you've got your jar file after you've run that. I've just closed that little console. Once it's finished, once you see your two jar files, just close out. Now, if it didn't work, I'm going to give you a few little tips. Update your Java and rerun it and if it still doesn't work re-download the build tools and delete all this re-download the build tool the jar file and run it again if it still doesn't work come over to the help page look through see if you can find your little situation down here if you're still struggling go to the live chat on spigot it's absolutely free you don't need to sign up to anything and go and ask over there they've helped me multiple amounts of times and I can't be thank you thank you enough for the people who actually you know spend time in them chats helping people and also if you ever need to find the run command for uh, the different versions you can come down here and you can choose these down there right then so let's get started so we're gonna choose spigot I highly recommend you choose that one then you want to come back to your empty folder paste that in there then you want to delete the the letters or numbers just hit the mic then and then you want to make a text file so we're just going to make or text document just a blank one and just edit in notepad nice and simple so now we can go back to our onto or you've got to go down into the description and get this code to run the jar file so paste that in and what this is doing it is enabling a java command and then it's going to give the server one gigabyte this is and it's going to look for this jar file if this name and this name does not match up, so if I had like uh, 1.9, it will not work. They've got to be exactly the same. So once you've done that, you want to go save as, go all files so you can see everything in there. Then you want to call it run, start, go. It's up to you what you want to call it. The next bit, you want to go dot bat, dot bat. Now this makes it into a run file. Save. And there we go. 
So now you can get rid of that old uh, text document and now you're ready to run your server. So I do get a few errors as you can see here. That's just because of my job. Don't worry about it if you don't get them. But your server should close down straight away. That's because you need to accept the EULA. So we're going to click on here and we're going to type in true. Uh, there we go. True. Save. Once we save, now we can run it again. It will start up server just in all these a few errors, but here we go. So this is starting couple with server stuff, uh, preparing the spawn area. So yeah, this will take a second. So we'll come over to Minecraft, and as you see here, I'm in 1.9, and it will come up on my home server. How I connect my servers, I normally just add a server thing, or you can go direct connect. Make sure the IP is going to be local host for you. So we'll just give it a second. There we go. It is came on or turned on and we are in our 1.8 or 1.9 sorry server oh so let's let, let me make sure I get my proper name in there we go uh, game mode one and if we look there we go we've got the wings and now if we fly up and we can start gliding away so yes that is how you make a 1.9 server hopefully this has helped you if you have any questions if you know if you're still getting stuck please contact me i'm always trying to willing to help if i don't see your comment i am sorry but i do try and look at all the comments what come through so yes once again make sure you subscribe stay tuned for the port forwarding video and i will see you next time so yes thank you for watching make sure you subscribe like share favorite and go and follow me on twitter and goodbye.